Hello and welcome to Only Connect. I was doing some electrical wiring the other day and my husband said, you shouldn't be doing that. Why not? I said, why shouldn't I? Because I'm a girl, is that why? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm following a manual that was written by a girl, so maybe I should just get on with it. Although, admittedly, when she wrote the book, Mary Shelley wasn't very specific about the nuts and bolts of the procedure. And my husband said, no, I just mean, you shouldn't be doing that. It smells. What can I tell you? I enjoy cobbling together odd parts to form a terrifying vision that makes villagers scream. Let's meet the teams. On my right, Tom Cadge, a customer services manager who won a washing machine on the internet. Oliver Paxman, an operations manager who was ejected from a bar in Edinburgh for climbing a chimney dressed as a gorilla. And their captain, Matt Ansell, a procurement manager for a utilities company who watches an episode of Murder, She Wrote, every day. United by a regard for rugby, they are the egg chasers. How do you all know each other? Uh, well, the three of us play on the same rugby team. Um, Tom and I work together. And we tend to find ourselves in bars and pub quizzes quite frequently, so uh, we spend most of our lives together, as it happens. Very good. We had an excellent team of rugby players on here once before, viewers will remember. It gives the lie to the idea that quizzers can't do sport. It's true, but maybe sportsmen can't do quizzes. Welcome to the show. You'll be playing tonight on my left. Frankie Fanko, a freelance translator who's also worked at the Sandbatch Services at Junction 17 of the M6. Andrew Beasley, a football writer who sold a roll of film to the Reverend Richard Coles. And their captain, Andrew Fanko, a languages graduate who shares an optician with the rugby player Martin Johnson. United by a soft spot for spies, they are the 007s. So I'm guessing you're a family team. Uh, yes, well, partly I'm married to uh, Frankie. We've been married for three years. Um, and I met Andrew through a football supporters group. Oh, only three years. That's why you're confident it'll withstand doing a quiz together. Absolutely, yeah. Good luck It'll with be that. fine. Well, it started well for you, 007s. You won the toss, so you'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, lion, please. Your first question is the lion. What is the connection between these apparently random clues? Here's the first. Go for another one. Yeah. Next, please. Oh, so it's going to be maybe people that, that can or can't do something. Um, is it the, something else? Like Shall we go for another one? Yeah. Next, please. No, can't vote. Can't vote. Can't vote. Can't vote. People that can't vote, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Um, are these all people who cannot vote? People who can't vote in general elections. Last clue was just people under the age of 18. Very good. The monarch isn't prohibited by law, but it's just considered unconstitutional. And prisoners, there are protests against this sometimes, but uh, at the moment prisoners can't vote. Members of the House of Lords can't. Contrary to popular belief, I'm told, you can vote in a general election while drunk. That yes. explains it, doesn't it? Explains a lot. <laughs> but what can't you do at a polling station? Do you know any things that aren't allowed? Oh, I'm not sure I can say on a family show, really. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anything over there that's not allowed? Can't photograph your card and post it on media, social media. Well, you can't photograph anything, not even a mm -hmm. selfie, because you might accidentally reveal someone else's vote. Mm -hmm. Can't wear political clothing. OK. And, uh, and you can't play loud music. None of those things allowed at polling stations. But yes, all people that can't vote, and you came in after three clues, so I'll give you two points. Well done. Egg chasers, what would you like? Uh, we'll take the two reads, please. Two reads. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. OK, so do we know what that's said? OK. Um, next, please. OK. So, how about something? OK. OK, uh, yes, I'm not on a, a typewriter. But, uh, OK, next, please. Oh, so that's Jasper Carroll. Um, so they're just carrots. Oh, carrots, yeah. yeah. Carrots? Yeah. Uh, they're carrots. Last clue was plant of the parsley family. They're all carrots. What sort of carrots? Um, well, the first two I have absolutely no idea if, uh, at all. But, um, carrot of gold. Oh, so, so 200 milligrams carrot of gold, presumably. That's right, exactly. So. And, and then singer of Funky Moped was Jasper Carrot. That's right. And that little one, that's just a, a punctuation mark. It's called a hat, control, chevron, or carrot. C-A-R-E-T, that sort of okay. carrot. 007s, what would you like? Um, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Yeah, it's, 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 
reality TV show, maybe. Go for another one. Next, please. Next, please. Oh, oh, yeah. Person the person of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. definitely. Yeah, people one time person of the year. These are all people who have won Times Person of the Year award. Another two points for coming in early. That's absolutely right. Last clue was the protester. Yes, they were all Time Magazine People of the Year. What years? Tell me a bit about these people. Well, the silence, the silence Breakers was a very recent one, wasn't it? 2018, I think. It was actually 2017. It okay. was victims of the Me Too movement, yeah. or people yeah. that joined in with that. Mm. The protester was 2011, after the Arab Spring and some of that political oh, yes. upheaval. Yeah. You, when do you think that might have been? Maybe 2016. It was fairly a, recent, I A think. bit longer ago. It was 2006, and it was to do oh. with content creators on the internet. It was saying, oh, we're all okay. creating content now, so you are the people of the year. And the inheritors, it was 1966, and it was the baby boomers, the people under 25, yeah. who were sort of energetic following, uh, uh, they, it was said, an apathetic generation just before. Okay. They were called the inheritors by Time magazine. Very well done. Back to you, Egg Chasers, for a choice. Um, we'll go Twisted Flax, please. Twisted Flax. It's the music question. Brilliant. Relax and enjoy some pieces of music. What connects them? Here's the first. No. OK, next, please. Them that's got shall get Them that's not shall lose So the bad. OK, next, please. Um, sweet. Not it, I'm afraid. Do you know 007s for a bonus point? Child. Child is the connection. What did we hear? Uh, so the last one was Guns N' Roses' Sweet Child of Mine. Mm -hmm. um, the third one uh, was Kate Bush. Um, the, was it the, the man, man with the child in his eyes? The man with the child in his eyes, that's right. Um, maybe the second singer, was it Billie Holiday? It was maybe? Billie Holiday, God but, bless the child. OK, and we, we didn't recognise the first one. Well, the first one we heard, Nobody Knows the Trouble I've Seen, which is an old spiritual, but the arrangement is Sir Michael Tippett in the oratorio, A Child of Our Time. Okay. Weren't they all great? We should release an album. But here's the twist of the team singing the pieces. I think that would be great for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done. You get a bonus point and you get the last choice of the round. Uh, Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. These are going to be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. So, uh, perfume. Um, um, just go for another one. Yeah. Next, please. Is that a donut? Is it a donut or a scone? Yeah, named after places in Germany, maybe. Mm. Yeah. We'll go for another we'll go for one. Another one. Uh, next, please. Yeah, is that, is that a just a hamburger, or is it a Big Mac? What? Well, a hamburger. Yeah. Okay, do you think Kushra's still going to go for another place in Germany, then? Well, yes, there we go. Yeah. OK. Uh, these are all named after places in Germany. You're not a fan of seeing four clues, are you? They're all <laughs> named after places in Germany. Very well done. Let's have a look at the last clue. Tell me what those things are. Uh, so we have eau de cologne. Mm -hmm. I will move on. And then we have a hamburger mm -hmm. um, and a frankfurter. Now, what do you... That's right. What do you think that might be at clue two? There's a, there's a well-known oh, triv myth it. that might help you. Well, is it a Berliner? Yeah. It is a Berliner. Ah, yeah, JFK, and yeah, what's JFK. the myth? Yeah, so, yeah, so the myth is, myth is that JFK... Um, on visiting Germany, said, Ich bin ein Berliner. Yes, he did say, Ich bin ein oh, Berliner. I think, I think the myth is that people laughed people because they that thought... it meant a sausage? It, it, or well, a well, they meat. thought it meant a donut. Oh, okay. Oh, but okay. Okay. a Berliner oh, okay. wouldn't call a donut a Berliner. Right. A Berliner right. would call it a Pfannkuchen. So, actually, they did understand him to mean, you know, I'm a person yeah. from Berlin. Yeah. But that's absolutely right. All things named after German cities. Well done. Last question for you, Egg Chasers, the water question. Absolutely. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. OK, so let's send a cage for multiple X-Men. They're missing an X for... OK. All right, next, please. What's that? Little B. 
big man. Little big man. So we say little big man, is it? Do we want one more? Want one more? Yeah. Okay, we'll take one more, please. The next, please. Uh, big little eyes, yeah. Um, so if you change the word, the capital X to big and the small X to little to make little big man, little big planet, big little lies, yeah? Absolutely right. What do you think the last one would have been? Um, no idea. It's a actually. battle. Oh, Little Big Horn. Little Big yeah. Horn was the last clue. Very well done. That means at the end of round one, the Egg Chasers have four points, the 007s have seven. <laughs> On to round two, the sequences round. Teams must tell me what comes fourth in a sequence, although they seem to have done that for every question in round one, so this is academic, really, but let's play it. What the hell? We're here. You'll be going first again, 007s. Which hieroglyph would you like? Two reeds, please. Two reeds. OK, you'll be seeing the first in a series of clues. What would you expect to come fourth? Your time starts now. Standard room. Um, anything from that? Um, next, please. Eight and fives is that game, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Oh, it's number of, number of walls. Yes. Yeah, so you got, yeah, four walls in a standard room, three walls in eating fives or something. So one wall. Walls. So, so we can add round three. Yeah, yeah. no, he's yeah. got two. Yeah, no, it's not so like that. Yeah. Burning walls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Berlin Wall. And why would that be? Because uh, there was only one Berlin Wall, um, and we're going down from something with four walls to three walls to two and then to one. Because I like your face, I'm going to give you the points. Well done. Four walls, three walls. Next clue would have been an episode of Only Connects got two yeah. walls, something with one wall. And actually, I see our own question editors have written Berlin. But in fact, people will be tweeting immediately to say that the Berlin Wall was in fact two walls. There were two walls with a gap in the middle with all sorts of stuff. Guards, dogs, two walls. So, uh, you know, pedants, don't worry, I said it but it was referred to as the Berlin Wall. So, very well done. Even earlier buzzing for you for extra points. Egg Chasers, what would you like? Uh, we'll go with Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK, so that's 22 frames per second. DLS, presumably. OK, um, next, please. So, there's a big, there are speeds of something, number of frames. So, I mean, I don't know. Oh, I, don't I don't know, know why it's single. We've got one more. Uh, next, please. Um, unless it's something completely different. This one ties with the PWS. OK, yeah. Um, we're going to go DWS equals 7. That is not the answer. So, 007's another chance for a bonus. Um, DLS equals nine. Not it, I'm afraid. It's a Scrabble question. No. Oh. On a Scrabble board, double there are 24 double letter scores. DLS, oh. there are 17 oh, yes. double word scores, there are 12 triple letter scores, and there are how many triple word scores? Uh, four. Four? No, there's eight. Eight! Does eight. nobody <laughs> play Scrabble? <laughs> TWS equals eight. No. So, no points there. Tough. Mm. Never mind 007s, you may have your own question. Which will it be? Uh, water, please. Water. OK. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK, so John from Free's obviously hosts uh, the Mastermind or the Today so program. Um, we'll go from the same. Yeah. Uh, next, please. Did he do it? Did he do it? Did he do it? Well, did he maybe do it? I'm not sure. Probably. We should probably go for next. Yeah. yeah. Um, or did he do that? Oh, he must have done a master master master. Yes. Yeah, I think he did do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's his thing. Yeah. Magnus Magnusson. Oh, you're too good. Magnus Magnusson is the right answer. What would the next clue be? Uh, well, did, not, no, I'm not sure, actually. I can't remember. It would be Peter Snow. Ooh. Ooh. What is the connection? Uh, so these are hosts of Mastermind going from the most recent to the original. Going backwards, exactly. So before John Humphreys, Clive Anderson presented Mastermind on the Discovery Channel. That was 2001, 2002. Peter Snow on radio. It was on BBC Radio 4. Uh, and the original host, Magnus Magnusson. You fans of Mastermind? Yes, yes, absolutely. If you, Frankie, went on Mastermind, what would your mm. specialist subject be? Well, I think James Bond films has already been done. 
I tell you three that you couldn't do as well because they were rejected. People put these in, wanting to do them on Mastermind, they were rejected. Routes to anywhere in mainland Britain by road from Letchworth. <laughs> not allowed. The development of the self-service petrol station. That'd be one for you, Frankie, wouldn't it? The self-service, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, you could do that. Or the history of Loganbury's. Ooh. Not allowed. Can't do a history of Loganbury's. You have to come up with something else. Mastermind presenters going back to Magnus Magnuson. Very well done. Egg chasers, what would you like? Um, we'll go with the lion, please. The lion, OK. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see? In the fourth picture, here's the first. OK, next, please. Tiger, tiger. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon. So, yeah, OK. Oh, no, I don't know if that's Yeah, no, I think it is. It is, yeah. Um, we'll go with the centrepiece of the Welsh flag. Always guess the centrepiece of the Welsh flag. Most of the time it is. Let's have a look. Look yeah. at the crew's faces. It's like they've seen a newborn <laughs> baby. Oh, look at that dragon. It's lovely. They're so happy to see it. And why? Why is it that centrepiece? Uh, so this is Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Crouching oh. Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Yes, I mean, some people would say he's squatting. At... I think there was a lot of discussion in the office about what's squatting, what's crouching. Well, you recognised it. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, the film adaptation of the novel. Very well done. Oh. 007s, what would you like? Uh, twisted Flax, please. Twisted Flax. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Take another one. Yeah. Next, please. Um, so this one is not cut or copy or paste, is it? Go for another one. Next, please. Okay, so yeah, so it's Credo. So yes, just taking the letter off. We do, then E do. Oh yeah, we do, then E do. So just do. Yeah, so cut part two. Yeah. A party. Would be an acceptable answer. And why? Um, so I believe in Latin is uh, Credo or Credo. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, we worked out the control and why must be redo. Mm -hmm. um, Tokyo between those years was known as Edo. Mm -hmm. um, so you're taking off um, the first letters at each time. And so take off the E and you're left with do. Something that represents do or do. We went with the first note of the musical scale. Very well done. And what happened in 1868 when the name changed? Why was it changing? Of Don't Tokyo. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Edo was where the shogun lived, the sort of military dictator who was deposed by the emperor in 1867 and the emperor moved to Edo and changed the name to Tokyo. Eastern capital, that's what Tokyo literally meant. Very well done. Back to you, Egg Chasers, for the last question of the round, the Horned Viper. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Yeah, so, okay. we'll, go, we'll take next, please. run out. So another bonus chance for you, 007s. Um, uh, stupid and miserable. No, because the connection is not my Tinder profile. <laughs> it's Colours of Mr Men. Uh -huh. According to the oh. rainbow, of course, our old friend the rainbow. So Mr uh, Small and Mr Rude are red. Yeah. Mr Clever and Mr Cheerful are orange. Mr mm. Happy and Mr Nonsense are yellow. I wanted to hear a couple of green Mr Men. For example, Mr Fussy and Mr Clumsy. Now I've told you that, what other Mr Men might you have named? Mr Nosy. Nosy. Mr. Bump. No, <laughs> Mr. Bump is blue with bandages. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tickle, the Mr. Tickle is orange. 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 Who are Famously you people? Orange. The whole thing started with the question, what does a tickle look like? Ah. An orange thing with long arms. No, Mr. Nosy, Mr. Muddle, Mr. Christmas, Mr. Slow, Mr. Funny, and of course, Monsieur Non, the French okay. Mr. Man, mm -hmm. is green. Some of them have green hats, of course. Mr. Chatterbox, Mr. Strong. Would you like me to stop talking about the Mr. Men? <laughs> Oh, yeah, keep going. <laughs> I'll give the scores. <laughs> At the end of round two, the Egg Chasers have seven points, the 007s have 15.
Let's see if we can slow these brilliant teams down with the connecting wall. 16 jumbled up clues that need to be sorted into four connected groups of four. There are red herrings, of course, clues that appear to fit into more than one category, but only one perfect solution. Egg chasers, you'll be going first this time, so you have a choice, lion or water? Uh, we'll take the water wall, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. OK, what have we got here? Okay. Floss, candy. Candy, floss, so, um, red oh, snap. And we've got Schwarzenegger films. OK. Uh, Commando, OK. Man. Well, so we run through those first. What junior, else have we got? Junior. junior. OK, yeah, have fun. Commando. OK, brilliant. So, Royal Degree, Degree, Dragoons. Um, the Grenadiers were already. Um, they yes, regiments. Sapper. Is it okay. So the Sapper Grenadier. Yeah. Okay. A dragoon and a gunner. Yeah. Or do we want to? Okay. Well, there's, there's dances here. So three floss, strikes now. Floss, You've got plenty of time. Yeah. Running around and robot, presumably. Yeah. And that's nash. so. Brush your teeth, isn't it? You brush your teeth. You grit your teeth. You gnash your teeth. You grind your teeth. Okay. Yeah. Done that. You've solved the wall. Simple as that. Very well done. So that's an immediate four points for the groups, and there are more points available for the connections. Perfect. So that's an immediate four points for the groups, and there are more points available for the connections. So tell me about that first group. Twins, Junior, Commando, Predator. Uh, so these are movies starring the um, sadly overlooked for an Oscar, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> At time of recording, <laughs> overlooked for an Oscar. Yes. What about the green group? Dragoon, Sapper, Gunner, Grenadier. Yeah, military terms. They're super soldiers. Mm -hmm. Floss, Running Man, Mashed Potato, Robot. Uh, they are dances that we should be trying in Cardiff tonight. Why wait till <laughs> then? <laughs> Mashed Potato? How does that go? Uh, that's something After like this, I believe. <laughs> but, um, Robot? Um, yes, it's sort of... Yes, like that. Good, mm. excellent. Running Man? Uh, I don't have the shoes for that, That's just going to be yes. presumably that. Yeah. And Floss, I dread to think. Uh, this is some crazy thing that well, does this. It? Whoa, it's not... a family show. Yes. Mm. I'm convinced. I'll okay. give you the point for dances. And the last group, brush, grind, grit, gnash. Uh, they're all things you can do to your teeth. Things you can do to your teeth, but you won't be grinding yours because... Four points for the groups, four points for the connections, a bonus of two for getting it all right, that's the maximum of ten. Let's bring in the 007s now, give them the other wall, the lion wall, and see what they can do about solving it. Of course, you have two and a half minutes to solve this wall, starting now. OK, some materials, parchment, Scroll. vellum... Yes. Vellum could you write on, yeah. Anything else? Uh, well, there's, there's new book, um, as a material, but okay, maybe not quite as strong as the others. Let's try and then... Maybe Cordova? No, let's move on. No. So definitely Bill. Oh, yeah, Bill Withers, Bill, Bill Haley, Haley, Bill, Bill Pullman. Yeah. Yeah, that okay. could be it. Um, Ruth Clinton. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, nice one. Um, um, chin rest is... Part of a violin. Scrolls, part of a violin. Bridge yeah. is part yes, of a violin. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, well done. Any others? Peg box, is that? Peg box, it could yeah. 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 Get the strings on. Yeah, the waste could be the waste, the waste of the yeah. body of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So three strikes now. Still got Plenty the of time. Materials, so parchment, yeah. new book, vellum. Cordova. Okay, so, so what have could have the others be? Mourning, bridge, bar, boot. Um, boot. Um, Chelsea bond. Yeah, che Chelsea, Chelsea bridge. Boots. Chelsea, Chelsea Bridge. Bridge. Yeah. And then Chelsea Chelsea, yes, Chelsea. So it's Joni Mitchell's song, Chelsea Morning. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, 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 so we're happy with this. So, yeah, so we've got Chelsea Morning, Chelsea Bridge, Chelsea Bun and Chelsea Boots. Yeah. yeah. And then the others are... Um, Parchments. Materials. Or are they from a certain animal or something? Or? No, parchment, isn't it? I'm not sure. Um, no, like types of papers or something. So, um... Yeah, well, well, because the, well, if the other one, if the if the sort of fake out was scroll, then perhaps it is things that things that you write on, basically, yeah, yeah. old writing so materials. materials to start with, mm -hmm. Okay, right. Try it. Should we go for it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If it's right. Yes. You've solved the wall. Very well done. So that's four points for the groups. So what about the connections? Withers, Clinton, Haley, Pullman. Uh, these are all famous bills. Exactly so. Bill Withers, Bill Clinton, Bill Haley, Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman, who played a president in which film? Independence Day. It was Independence Day. And the green group, scroll, peg box, chin rest and so on? Uh, these parts of a violin. All parts of a violin. And the next group, bun, boot, morning, bridge. Uh, you can put Chelsea before all of these. You can. And you're right, as I heard you say, it's a Joni Mitchell mm -hmm. song, Chelsea Morning, named after not the area of London, but the area of New, New York, York yeah. that she lived in, Chelsea Morning. 
And the last group, parchment, newbuck and so on. Uh, these are materials that you may write on or may have written on in the past. I mean, in theory, you could write on anything. You could write on a bus <laughs> shelter. Not that I'm advocating writing on a bus shelter. Don't do it. They are types of leather. Ooh. Types of leather is what they are. But you found four groups. You gave me three connections, so that is a total of seven. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The Egg Chasers have 17 points. The 007s have 22. And if you'd like to take part in the next series of Only Connect, then why not go to the website bbc.co.uk slash onlyconnect to find out how to apply. Now we're going to play round four, the missing vowels round. You know the rules. Fingers on buzzers, teams. The first group are all things you shouldn't eat. Egg chasers. Traffic jam. Correct. Egg chasers. Petroleum jelly. Correct. Egg chasers. Urinal cake. Yeah. Correct. 007s. Shaving cream. Correct. Next category, happening right now. We're in it. It's Cenozoic era. Next clue. 007s. 21st century. Correct. Egg chasers. Climate change. It is happening. Egg chasers. Missing vowels round. Indeed. So, next category. Singers at US inaugurations and the presidents there. 007s. Aretha Franklin and Barack Obama. Very well done. Egg chasers. The Beach Boys and Ronald Reagan. Correct. 007s. Linda Ronstadt and Jimmy Carter. Yes, it is. That last one, I know you're all shouting at home, Anita Baker and George Bush Sr, but the bell has gone. It's the end of the quiz, and after a fantastic night of playing, I can tell you that the Egg Chasers finish on 23 points, the 007s have 26. Very well done. You are straight through to the next round. Egg Chasers, as is right and proper, you are not out. You will have another chance to go through to the next round later in the competition. Well done to you too. Thanks very much for watching. And before we go, I've had a few letters and tweets in from people complaining that my remarks at the beginning and end of Only Connect are self-indulgent, navel-gazing in-jokes that alienate the normal viewer. And I'd like to say to those people, try telling that to my friend Charlie. Although not during one of his cribbage nights. We all know what he gets like then. Goodbye. <laughs>